Hi, welcome to this video tutorial. If you currently have your computer usage of the CPU being slow and the usage of the CPU being at 100%, what you may check, or if your computer is extremely slow, then this computer, this um, tutorial is for you. What you can do is to go to the task manager. Just right click the taskbar as I've done. Come to the task manager here, and you will see below here that your user share will be at um, 100%. And here is um, the issue. The first thing is to know what is the root cause of this problem here. And if you do, if you do not know what is the root cause of the problem, you just come here to uh, your tap process here of the task manager and try to click here to order by CP usage decreasing order and then you will see what is taking most of your CP usage like right now it's my screen uh, recorder here is taking like 27% of my usage it's right now at around 40% uh, but in your case it should be something like this one you may be having 100% and now if you do not recognize the program that is causing that one here is the program called um, chrome.xc then when I got this issue the first thing was to just try to find out what can be the cause of this one so there are many tips there online like asking you to come and customize your chrome just like removing the history and some extensions and blah 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 and resetting the default configuration of your Chrome stuff like this one it may work but for me it didn't work so I had to find another way to do that one so in this case I will not recommend you to do that one here is like you are just going to the extreme uh, uh, measure and what you have to do now is just to go to your control panel chrome uh, sorry program on install then come here check chrome chrome will be somewhere here and just remove it remove chrome in your computer first then after you have removed it <coughs> then go back again to uh, your task uh, manager and check if you still have that hundred percent usage just wait like maybe after one minute or two minutes you may not have just take like five minutes or ten minutes if it happen again then we go after that just go to your computer check where your chrome is installed for me it was installed here so just come to this folder here remove the google folder or just click in the google folder if you have many google uh, application there then remove the chrome inside that folder then the next thing is to go again to another directory it should be here program file with this one this is 86 because it's my that is two bit machine your maybe 64 because of 64 bit machine doesn't matter but remove again go again in the google folder if you do not have many google applications chrome is only one then remove again uh, the google folder or go in the google folder and remove the chrome application there when that is done uh, just make sure that we have nothing just write temp here slash go to your temporary folder just select everything then also click here we we'll remove just do for all skip what we don't need do all do this for all just skip it then after that one is completed then we just come to here desktop sorry go to uh, right click our bin then here in uh, empty the bin just say okay then your bin will be clean this one is done 
you come back again, you still have it which is running. So then it's becoming interesting that you can see right now you have removed all the Google stuff in our computer, we still have it. So the next thing that you have to do is uh, this one here. So what does that mean? Like we have to find where is that culprit. Yeah. So we right click it, the Chrome here and open this file locations here. By doing this one, it will go to the location where our file location is um, is uh, located. And for me here, it was located as you can see here inside this directory. So I go there. Here for me it is installed here. Here is the program which is running and always running. And one thing you can do is that you may try to remove it, but the access may be denied. So what you have to do is to come here, or you may just yeah just come here and right click and process tree to that chrome process just click on this one it will end uh it will end the process it will shut down the process and immediately after that you come here and just right click and delete this thing this google folder and just after that one now you should have your computer usage to normal but but after doing that one it is a virus it will come back again if it doesn't come back again good you are good to go it's finished but if it come back again we are not going to repeat the same thing again and again we need now to find a way out so the first thing that you have to do is know this comment here we deny the access to that folder to everyone the entire system will be access to that folder will be denied so that uh, the, the virus shouldn't have the access to, chance to run again so in order to do that you just go to your cmd cmd file and just go like this one then copy the path to your google chrome and come here just write i c a c l s here as you have seen here this comment here just write that one now paste uh, the path this one here to the comment from and slash deny everyone and all this stuff here <coughs> then after that one is done and remember you should do this one after you have killed the process here and just with that after killing the process then you can just click you can see here successfully completed then now if you come by chance again here you can see the access is denied by this time now the access your your CPU usage should be uh, normal, should be normal, and uh, now the, the, the virus is not working, but you will not stop there. One thing I will suggest you at this stage is to go to your your browser and just write Avast free download. You will come to this page here, similar to this one, or any free antivirus that you may want to use, but this one you can download a community version of of Avas and select the language you want to here is English USA then download it install it as usually it will take a while and after that one you will start scanning your computer you will clean the mess for you really you clean the mess and you may have stuff like this one you will find some fault in your browser settings you will just click here to resolve you will resolve and then you also go here then just click click on resolve it will resolve and you come here to this uh, 60 day trial feel free to accept it or not if you accept it just be make sure that you will not uh, 
you cancel it before the end of the trial version otherwise you may go into the paid version or if you don't want you just want to keep uh, the community version just cancel here and you will see your avas icon will be somewhere here running here for for time now i just disabled it now so that's why you see here unprotected <coughs> Of course, I didn't have the antivirus in my machine. I don't need it. So, <clears throat> even though I was victim of the virus, you may have it to keep your avas running. You can always ena enable it or disable it if you want. Enable all uh, all shields or if you want and keep it there. Then now, we come back now. We have to delete that folder after all. Then we need to take uh, the ownership of the folder and this one is done recursively now what we have to do now is to take the ownership we can do that just like like this uh, take ownership slash f if you run it oh you have the arrow here so i would suggest to enter the entire path here not just the uh, the folder name just take this command here to make stuff fast so instead of just writing the chrome uh, folder names here so just ah sorry it was google not chrome so yeah you can just write here as you are in the current directory google we are inside this program data google and now <coughs> You get presented with this dialog if you want to get a permanent grant permission to also full control then just click just uh, press uh, y in your keyboard or you enter yes so here is y so you just enter y then here you can see that we have uh, the full ownership back so if you go back now this one this is what we get previously just refresh it now we should be now able to get there so that is it do you think you know what you have to do now get rid of it delete it You require load to to make change so <clears throat> one thing we can just come to get again to Google here this time it didn't work so we come here to Chrome go again application go again service just try to remove yeah, just try to remove this one like force cannot do that so we do is some um, we come back here this and reset i use this to reset all permissions here cls reset slash t oh sorry you should have something like uh, okay Yeah. and let's try to program data here now here is open in another program 
So we couldn't delete it. What you have to do is to close your CMD. Just close this, just close your CMD and now you should be able to, to delete it. Then after it is deleted, do not forget to uh, do not forget to uh, bin folder. I think we could easily do that here. Just come here, right click it and then enter your bin. Your bin will be uh, empty. So if you still have problem, do not hesitate to drop your comments and also subscribe to this channel. I will also put um, these notes here in the description. Stay tuned for the next tips. Bye.